Tell me about CUDA technology. Uh, CUDA is an architecture of parallel computing. Right. And this is, this is um, uh, a, a fabulous story. This is uh, those two doctors um, and a few scientists at Stanford saw that our GPU uh, was programmable mm -hmm. and could be used almost like a supercomputer. And they tried to use it, and it was ad incredibly hard to use. But if they were successful in using it, it delivered extraordinary speed-ups. Mm -hmm. And so in working with them, um, we decided to take the big plunge that we would make our GPU um, much, much more like a general purpose processor and could be used for far more than graphics, mm -hmm. far more than 3D, that it could be used for general pur purpose mathematics uh, computing. Uh, I'm, this morning I spent time with a couple of firms that, that don't want to be don't want to be named uh, where they um, uh, are using our GPU for options risk analysis and the speed up yeah. is 50 times 100 times 200 times faster than a cluster of um, you know racks and racks of CPUs and so so um, uh, so the benefit this benefit that I talked about uh, we thought about about five years ago and we decided to invent this technology called CUDA. It's an architecture. CUDA to us is kind of like the x86 to uh, a microprocessor. It's just mm -hmm. an architecture interface. It's the name of the architecture. And so it's, it's uh, made it possible for, for the GPU to be used for general purpose parallel computing. And it's the reason why uh, CUDA, uh, our GPUs are now in the, in the supercomputer in Japan. Um, CUDA is now being taught in some 50 universities around the world. You know, from Oxford to Harvard to Berkeley. Here's to what you said to the New York Times on September 23rd. We think that the number of people interested in this CUDA technology is in the tens of millions. It is not just here. It is in China and India and Russia and Brazil. Many billions of dollars is our rough estimate for the size of the market. Yeah, this is really interesting. I think the, um, you know, a lot of people thought first um, that, um, that CUDA uh, could um, uh, be used for these extreme uh, computational needs, um, but and, and it's true, you know, when when you can speed up your computer a uh, hundred times, uh, what used to take sixty hours now takes just a couple of hours. Um, you know what used to be impossible to do, you can now do in real time. Uh, the imagination kind of goes wild, and so. Uh, you know, the, um, uh, whether it's in imaging or movies or film or uh, whether it's for doctors or, or scientists, all of a sudden uh, the computer looks very different to you mm. because we've effectively shortened um, or gave them a time machine, if you will. We showed them what, how fast a computer without CUDA would be like in 10 mm. years.